Hey guys, what is going on? Ghost Nigma here, coach of your self and shop years. Now, this was supposed to be your week nine video, but well week nine matchup video against Kyle A, coach of the Miami Miami Dolphins, but sadly because well, like basically our schedules have just been physically impossible to try and line up to the point where we didn't actually we weren't actually able to get our match done. Um, the only window we really had was yesterday uh, about like 11 o'clock at night for me, which had been like mid afternoon for him. And um, he got basically he another one of his matches overran to which I couldn't stay up stupidly late because I think it's 6am the next day to go to work because at the minute my job has taken like real life turns it's my job is constantly pushing me and I'm constantly working like I don't even get days off right now because of how much I'm working um so I'm quickly just gonna record this update video let me just turn it down on the headset because it's out of my ear um hopefully that doesn't transfer an audio over but we'll see um so I thought why don't you do is bring you up to speed what's going on there. Also some changes to the Sharpie Dunn lineup because we have made some changes uh, from the bye week just before PAX. Basically just before the bye week we made some changes and um, when everyone was PAX these changes took into effect. So for our week 9 matches, uh, week nine matches against Kyle, these Pokemon were now the these changes have been taken into account and they are the need to So basically, like I said, before I go into that, I'm just going back to the Kyle match. The reason why it didn't happen is... And it's a shame because this happened last season where we we were supposed to have a match and once again, our, we couldn't line up properly to the point where we both had a free time slot where we were able to have our match. And that resulted in the double forfeit. This time around though, Kyle came out and said, my bad man, I didn't mean for this to go my um, this match overrun long it should have done and um, I'm sorry that this had to happen but I'm gonna have to like and he he um offered the forfeit to take into account that I was up till one o'clock in the morning to try and have this match and like I said I had to be up at for six o'clock the next day to go to work again. Uh, I've been home for I haven't long been home but, like this is like the first free moment I had on the day so I don't um obviously my personal life takes precedence over my stream life and comes to the MPA. But normally I can fit the MPA in. Every time MPA has come around, I've managed to find a way to fill it to my time thing. And it's always worked out fine. It always has. It always will. Um, but yeah, that's why you're not getting a match this week against Kyle A. You're just getting me rambling on like a weirdo explaining why this match didn't happen. So hopefully next season, Kyle, we can get that, get our match on. Hopefully we get to sort our schedules out so we can actually have this long coming match because this match is well overdue. We should have had this last season, but you know, it, it's just one of those life things where life just keeps chucking stuff at you and you really can get past it. Like I said, he was busy, I was busy, we had one window and we completely missed it, to which we can now uh, we went to our match. So with his forfeit, we now go to three and six. Which thank you, thank you for the three, the three o four fit Kyle. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, okay, right now I've addressed that. I'm gonna move over to the trades, which I'm gonna show you the first one. Now, bear in mind, um, these trades took effect about like, coming to effect this week, the week nine match, and um, I got some advice from someone who took a look at our team and he noticed that our speed tiers were a little bit weird. You know, there was a lot of slow stuff, a lot of fast stuff, but more so slow than fast. So he won. So I think he asked me to relook at the tiers and see if there's anything there that I could use to try and get, you know, to get those that speed up a bit. So first thing I went and did. First thing I did. First and foremost, I did drop my Sharpedo. Just got a glimpse of it. I already didn't do that. Um, you got a glimpse of it. I did. That's not dropped my Sharpedo. I did not drop my Sharpedo. I don't even have Sharpedo. It's in the logo. It's in the logo, but I haven't dropped that. Um, no. Uh, I've gone and dropped Slowbro for Arcanine just because, for starters, it's a better speed tier. It is a much better speed tier. It's got. Um, I'm just gonna... Ah, not, Ar not Arcanum. Arcanine. Um, it gets things like uh, Morning Sun, so it has a reliable recovery. It's also got things like Flamethrower. It's Intimidate is going to be a factor to take into account. Uh, it can also, I can also run it Flash Fire, and if, if I feel anyone's going to try to chuck a Flame Move in my Sizzle, boom. Literally, Arcanine is built to work with Sizzle. Someone goes to a Flame Move, I bring my Flash Fire Arcanine, I get the attack moves, boom, I clean up with Arcanine. 
Um, or if I, well, for, if I sense a Dark Reaper, for example, someone tries to knock me up, and going to Arcanine, if I'm running it, just five, boom, another boost once there. Um, an HC with its base stats of 100 special attack and 110 attack. I can run it either, I can run it mixed, I can run it physical, I can run it special. I can, I'm, it's also fairly fast, so it fairly does bring up the speed from what Slowbro brought to the table. Um, yes, Slow Robot Regenerator, which is good recovery, but it's not as reliable as, like I said, Morning Sun, especially in the sun itself, so Sun Teams beware. Um, it gets things like Wild Charge, Extreme Speed, Priority. Uh, it, it, it's just a better, it's just a little better mod to work with what I've got to try and get some synergy going within my team. Um, just go from the move pool looking for exceptional things that will stand out. Like, it gets access to Iron Head, Iron Tail. Handy against fairies, but with it being a fast mod, I don't really have that worry. Um, Solar Beam, I can use that grass move in the sun if I need to. Uh, provided my opponent brings the sun. It would have been good against Crest, I'll tell you that. Oh, wait, that didn't happen because Crest saw through that and beat me. Uh, <laughs> okay, right. Um, that's actually just the first trick. We made three. We made three agents from the pool. And our next one is going to be we're dropping our Alola Marowak. We're saying goodbye to good old Alowak for sloking. So basically, what I've done with that is uh, let me just bring a sloking on. So basically, what I've done, I've taken, I dropped my defensive uh, defensive wall. I picked up a specially defensive wall to work with my chestnut because they slowbro chestnut they just really won't work together as a unit. So I was like, okay, right. What I will do, I will switch it out and I will pick up sloking. It didn't cost me any points, because it was a pretty much straight up trade for my free trade transactions. Um, it still gets regenerated, like I said, it is good recovery, it's not, it, it's, the best, it's the best thing it could have, it's good recovery. Um, it's still as slow as slow bread, like, that's the sad thing. If it, picked up, if it was like 40 base speed, that would, I'd be okay with that, but like I said, it's a special principle that will work well with my chest, and it also helps with Arcanine as well. Um, if I need to, I can run Trick Room, which I don't think with my speed tiers now, I won't have to. Uh, no, I won't really have to worry about Trick Room with it too much, um, but... Nasty Pop, bring it on, baby! I can get Nasty Pop all day long. And for some wacky heat sets, I could chuck it in Belly Drum. I've had that one chucked at me before, and I've been tempted to try it myself. Um, but yeah, it, overall, it's just what we really need. So like I said, I'm trying to fix that synergy and get that synergy work with that secondary core just to make things work out that bit better. Um, things like Slack Off, more reliable recovery. Regenerator, it, it can trick room, it can trick room. Like I said, it, it's, just another, it's just another version of Slow Ray where it's more special defensive than defensive. So yeah, I've just switched them out basically, a little bit, trying to, to, try to fix that synergy a little bit. Um, and this one, this one would have been good against Carl. Um, also, right now, taking away Alowag, it, it gave me an issue. I only had one stealth lock, one thing that could set hazards, and that's and that's guard job. And I don't want to put that much reliance on guard job to set those locks. So I think what I'll do. With the options available to me, I will look at the, the, the draft pool and look at some dra some fast mons. That was that was fast, fast mons. Second rule was has access to stealth rocks as well as uh, uh, other hazards as well as some um, less of priority. So why did I am saying goodbye to one of our best killers? I believe it was one of our best killers. Oh no, I only got one kill, so yeah, it wasn't one of our best killers. Best killers. But I am dropping Heliolisk and we're picking up Lycanroc Dust. Now, as you can see, it's one point faster, which I think my team said it was like two points or five points faster. Um, its attack is much better. Its defense is better. I lose that at special defense a little bit. Uh, but my HP overall is better as well. But like I said, it's a faster, it's a faster Pokemon that is going to be better for us. So, like, and you know, tough claws with a cellar rock. I ain't complaining. Not to mention, I can stick on that like Hadium Z. I know we haven't seen that this season. Um, so I don't think I can draft of any form of like a rock. I've got access to Drill Run, Fire Fang, Stone Edge. I can SD and then just sweep. Like it can do a lot. It's frail, but it so was the other. So was he though. It's both were frail. Um, but like I said, it's more of trying to get us a fast rocker and take that and use them to it. For example, I had a really fun idea, well, 
one of my front office had a really fun idea with Black and Rock this week where we would bring it to bluff the Stealth Rock, right? And then expect Kyle to go to Mega Di to go Diancy, and if he had not Mega Jet, Mega it, and just whack it with an Iron Head. That was the original plan, because that Tough Claws would have kicked in. I believe it would have, anyway. Uh, yeah, it would have. Uh, it just would have been cool to see a Lycanroc pull that off you. Know, Lycanroc takes out Mega Diancy. Because I believe in the cows, it did it every time, so I'm just checking that. So, yeah. Uh, I see. And then uh, let's just take a stage away and get it. Alright, and at level 50. Uh, every time. Every time at level 50. I didn't even need to calculate. The, like the count speaks for itself. It is a guaranteed one hit kill tough calls kill, killer from a like a rock. So Kyle might not have been expecting that. It's a shame I didn't get to use it because like it would have been cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do check out Kyle below. I will make sure to plug his links. Make sure he you know, goes for him because he does a lot of draft based um, matches. He's in a lot of more draft leagues than I am, and his content is awesome. I, I just love, I love his attitude. He's got this upbeat, fun, loving attitude that you take a look at him. Man, that guy knows his stuff. And he knows what he's doing. He's having a laugh doing it. And that's the important thing, right? We're supposed to be having a laugh. We're playing Pokemon. We're going to have some fun. Yeah, we're going to have some hiccups along the way, and we can't help them. You can't help these hiccups, like, for example, not being able to battle your opponent because of life. Because life does impact you. Um, but over yet, make sure you do drop Kyle a follow and a sub down below. You can catch a streamer on Twitch. You can catch him on you can watch his YouTube content. You can get, catch him on Twitter. And if you're a lady out there, I believe he's single. I don't know if that's true. I really don't. I just know that's the kind of attitude card has. It's got fun, love, and attitude, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, I'll catch you next week where we take on Indivicolor, Coach of the. Uh, where is it? Of the South Texas Sebelize. And on his team, he has got Tyranitar, Haxorus, Delmai, something from my last season, uh, Gramble, Hariyama, Alone Doctor, Mega Anakazam. I really, really did take that this season. Raikou, Gligar, Milotic, and Yen Mega. That's definitely gonna be a fun team to fight. Especially with Dalmese's ability to like, technically have three typings, uh, which I learned last season pretty well, is gonna, is gonna get the hit on top. <laughs> Mega Alakazam is a monster in this format. I mean, come on, that Mega Alakazam on Invivicolor's team alone has popped up 14 kills. That is ridiculous. And Tyranitar is just chasing it with eight. That is crazy. I'm looking at it on a dock and I'm thinking, damn! Man, no, you freaking good, man! You good! I might be in some trouble next week. Anyway, catch you next week. Like and subscribe. And keep up with the NPR on Twitter. NPA official! See you later.